Hey everybody, uh, like it said, somebody uh, on AJ was looking for a some cleave, some high rated cleave video from a DK point of view. So I thought I'd throw some matches together. We played two nights, we didn't get any teams above five points, so opponents are pretty terrible. Uh, I think we were around 27-15 when this was all recorded. Anyway, uh, TSG comp, I, you'll see in some of the videos that my pet's on, uh, not on passive. That's just an accident, I must have just got done doing some vault or something but uh, anyway I play in blood all the time as unholy spec I've played in blood since season 5 came out I just like the increased damage and I like being able to play in your runes a little bit better so in this comp I really play the support role as the DK I, I set up the kills I'll handle the peels I'll handle the interrupts uh, and with warrior mobility and my control from range with death coil chains gnaw and strangulate I like to use DG as an interrupt instead of a gap closer, uh, especially with Bladestorm. Bladestorm is 10 times more effective when you got more than one target in it, so even if the healer is not the kill target, I'll death grip him and focus chains him just to make the Bladestorm much more effective. Anyway, this video has got no editing, I just threw it together. Uh, if you can't tell, I picked these songs on Halloween night, so let's get started. Alright, to start it off, we got a Pally Lock Warrior. Uh, we found the best strat here is to me on Pally, Skeeta my warrior on the lock. We've uh, when we're both on lock, we've seen we take we take way too much damage. So, so we want to get on the lock quickly so he's closest to his port. And my goal here is to uh, lock that Pally down. My goal is no casted heals until he bubbles. So here we go, getting on Pally. So yeah, just trying to keep him no casted heals here. Or Mastery's up, gonna gnaw that first one, he's already at half. I'm gonna get ready to DG the next heal. Force the bubble. By now we've smashed him, the momentum's so in our favor they don't have a chance. Bubble's done, we're dead. It can be a tough fight if you train that lock though. The warrior will do some sick damage to when you bunched up like that. Okay, we got three mirrors coming up. Uh, we like to get hard on that warrior to force some defensive and get early interrupts on pally. Force bubbles and get a kill. A lot of these counts will rush our pally, which makes it easy. Usually when they hit our warrior and we hit their warrior, it's a lot more fun. But let's see how it goes. Again, I'm keeping an eye on that pally. Warrior gets bad positioning here, and you can see the focus frame. Go no focus now. We start the blade storm. Position's horrible. Focus strangulate there. Warrior's bad, dead. Um, even if even if that warrior shield walled there, we'd have gone through a good amount of cooldowns. And we would, if you check the damage on this fight, we're never in danger. Uh, we, we never even get low. You just gotta get heavy damage out quick. Same match here, different team. Now you can see my focus is in the bottom right. My focus cast bar is the, the quartz bar right above my head. So again, smash their warrior. The LOS is here, I get Gnaw ready to go. There's the Gnaw. Here comes the Strangulate. Blade Storm's going, Strangulate's good. Uh, Pally did a lot of sack damage here, and some, some Blade Storm damage as well, so Skeeta called out, popped his bubble. We're both enemies at half, and this match is over. Our Pally hasn't blown anything yet. I think he blows over Mastery at the end here. Um, their Pally blows over Mastery, you can see. 
Skeeta stunned the first one, called out, I called out, I got the next one, so I backed up for the death grip. We do that all the time against pallies, just gotta coordinate it. Another mirror here, same thing, where he gets horrible positioning, LOS of his pally for dispel. End of this fight, Skeeta and I did about 200k damage each, and this warrior did about 50k, because he's forced defensive. With a disarm, there's a gnaw, there's a string on the pally. Almost killing him through shield wall. Death grip, the uh, aura mastery for the first one. DK almost died there, but I mean, it's just all about momentum in these mirrors, and we're just smashing them on damage. If you check our HP, this whole fight doesn't move at all. And don't follow that pally there. Stick with your warrior. You're not going to do much without MS. Uh, Pally's way out of out of sight, way out of range anyway. So warrior's dead here. All right here's Pally Hunter DK. There's a few ways to play this comp. Uh, sometimes we can both train the hunter. I'll save Death Grip for every disengage and try to gnaw the freedoms. Um, other times we can put Skeeta on the hunter and I'll be on Pally to lock him down completely. Um, every freedom goes to Skeeta. Um, there's also other ways. This, this comp can be tough against really good teams that can kite well. Kite and peel well. So here we go. And my, my goal on this one again is to just shut down this pally. I'll start on Hunter just to get some diseases going. And then again, don't use Death Grip here as a closer. Just walk your happy ass over there. Where he goes, or Hunter goes in a bad spot here, so I blow my shit. Force the bop there. The Ore Master is here, he knows I'm gonna death grip the heal, so he stops it and bubbles it, or else he was dead. So I got I got death grip and strangulate still up. Now, always in Venom, calling out if I've got the next interrupt on that pally or not, so people know when they need to help me with an interrupt. Right here, strangulate's going up. And I got DG for the next heal. There it is. And right here we think the hunter dies, so we get off him. But apparently he lived. Anyway, bubbles down. So we can just ride this pally out. Now next team we face, uh, the match prior to this one, they opened with a Zerg on our pally. And we ended up, they killed our pally, we killed their hunter, and then it was down to a 2v2, so here I open up with, with peeling on them. They open with death grip on lead, um, and I just start peeling. Just to get, just to slow their opener, to momentum back in our favor. There's death grip on my pally. I see their DK going for it. I'll pull them back a little bit just to give our pally a little bit of room. And here we go, I catch the pally in a bad spot. He's on the left of the box, DK's on the right, so I focus Narm right there. Then I arcane torrent there just to prevent some defensive cooldowns by the DK, and he ends up dying before uh, before he gets healed up. Now again, I'm using the focus death grip here, coming up to interrupt the last heal. Make sure you pop those snakes all the time too, These things are bastards. So here's the focus DG on the next heal. Into a hodge, game over. Last one is... Uh, Previous match versus those guys came down in 2v2. Uh, this is why I love Arcane Torn. This is why Arcane Torn is the best DK racial. So bubbles up. I, I got talking to Skeeta here, telling him I got all the next interrupts. Trinket the Hodge. Know your range on Torrent, so I got him there. And the next is Focus Mind Freeze. I got Gnaw for the next, and Skeeta intercepts away just to reflect some damage. He's getting close to dead. So I got a kill there. 